good morning student today we will learn about simple compound and complex sentence class 7 chapter 24 first of all we will know what is sentence sentence is a group of words that conveys complete sense is called a sentence basically three types of sentence let's see here simple com Simple sentence, compound sentence and complex sentence. Look at the example. Ricky is studying with a simple with me. Ricky is studying with me a simple sentence. Simple sentence contains a subject verb pair. It express a complete thought. Compound sentence contains two simple sentences joined by a comma plus a conjunction such as and, but, or, so, yet, for, nor. Let's now look at the sentence. Example, Ricky is studying with me. And I am helping him. In this sentence, there are two sentences. Ricky is studying with me and I am helping him. Here, and is conjunction which is joined by a conjunction and. Thus, it is a compound sentence. And next complex sentence a complex sentence contains a simple sentence combined with a group of word that can't stand alone as an independent independent sentence the group of word is depend on the simple sentences to make its meaning clear for example ricky studies with me is simple sentence when he is confused whereas the remaining part of the sentence that is when he is confused cannot stand alone as independent sentence hence it is a complex sentence i hope you will get and second thing subordinating subordinating conjunction are words that appear in complex sentences at the beginning of the group of words that does not express a complete thought for example although her baby was ugly mama monkey was very proud of him here the word although is a subordinating conjunction i hope you will get Simple compound and complex sentence. It is clear now we can see here lots of example on our book. We can see simple sentence. <coughs> the goat eats green grass. The students left their books in the school. The rich man made many beggars there. Who is the captain of the team? And the compound sentence. A compound sentence is made up of two or more coordinate clauses. All the clauses in a compound sentence are independent like principal or main clause. All the clauses are of equal importance of rank. The clause of the compound sentence are called coordinate clauses. Generally, the coordinate clauses are joined together by some coordinate conjunction, which are and, but, also, either, or neither, nor, or, not, only, but also, otherwise, therefore, etc. These are example of compound sentence which is very important in this sentence. Let's see. 
I ran fast, but I did not reach the college in time. And the complex sentence. A complex sentence is made up of one principal clause and one or more subordinate subordinate clauses. The principal clause makes good sense by itself. The subordinate clause does not make good sense by itself and cannot stand alone. It depends for its full meaning upon the principal clause. The subordinate clause is joined to the principal clause by a subordinate conjunction. Read, read these sentences carefully. Now we can read it. I do not know when I shall return. I cannot tell when he will come. He knows a place where will roses grow. He doesn't know. No. Who has stolen his car? I hope you will read this chapter very easily. Thank you.